Hey guys, it's Brian from Airhead Garage, and today we're back working on the Porsche motor. We are going to lap the cylinders to the head. What that means is we're going to put a little bit of rubbing compound on the surface right here, and we're going to stick it to where it belongs, and we're going to work it back and forth, kind of like when you lap valves on a head. We're going to make that surface perfect for both pieces of metal to make to you when it comes time to put it all together. So I'm going to shut up and let's get to wrenching on uh, this week's episode of Rebuild the Porsche motor. Let's go. This is uh, cylinder number four. This is where number four is at on the head. So we're gonna put a little bit of compound here and then grind it in. So, grinding compound. and just right there along that lip. All right. Kind of smear that around. Okay, now I'm going to take it, I'm going to set it down onto the head, and then you're just going to work it. And you're going to start to hear it make a change in the sound. That so is going to sit that way, so we're going to kind of work it. And you should start to see a different color in there. So that's silver, that's what you want to see all the way around. So let's do this one more time. Okay, let's clean it up and see what we got. We're gonna use some carb cleaner, kind of clean this up. Wipe it up. Make sure all that grit, because you don't want this in your new motor, your rebuild. All right, now you can see right here, that's why I didn't take away that carbon right there. I want to show you how it cuts and mates to that. So now we'll clean up the actual cylinder jug as well. Same thing, little carb cleaner. And we're still gonna hone these, so I'm not gonna do too much of a clean job on that, but now, if I noticed right here, I didn't get, see that's still dirty? That's not clean. So I'm gonna do it one more time. You want both these surfaces to be shiny. All A little better, but still a tad right there.
check it again. Much, much better. All right, we'll clean all this up. All right, we'll set this off to the side. We'll come back in here and we'll clean this off. Number four is done, so we'll just continue on. Do number three, we'll get the other head, and we'll do number one and number two as well. Okay, so number two, two. Rubbing compound. Okay, that flat side goes on the inside there. Okay, and we're just gonna grind it down. Now we're going to clean this off and see how we did. So it looks pretty good. Let's check the head. You can see there's a ring cut, but not right in there. So I want to do this one more time. You can do it either way. Just trying to show some different ways. That looks good. I can see a color change. That looked like it got a little better over there. Okay, this one to number one. Mutro Betero. All right, and you can see there's a color change in those two moving. So. We got this done. That's a win. All right, guys, so that is how we lap the cylinders to the head on a air-cooled either Porsche or a Volkswagen type motor. Again, rubbing compound, swirl, swirl, swirl. Make sure the edge of these both are a different color. They're kind of a more medium gray, I guess is what I would say. And then you, you're done. You've seated both the cylinder to the head, which is gonna make for a better seal when you put the motor all together. If you liked this video please give me a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber to the airhead garage channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more about this porsche motor i'll have a link somewhere where you can watch the whole thing or wait to the end there'll probably be a playlist for you to click on for that all right guys i will see you next time for what we're doing we're going to be doing honing the cylinders 
on the uh, next video. So stay tuned for that. See you then.